good morning children in the last class we had studied second stanza of the poem today we are going to study the third stanza from a railway carriage by r l stevenson okay now let us read third stanza here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by himself and gathering brambles here is a tram who stands and gazes and there is the green for stringing the daisies okay let us come to first two lines of third stanza here is a child who clambers and scrambles now children after crossing the railway station while the train running with a great speed the poet sees a child who clambers and scrambles what the child is doing the child clambers and uh, scrambles children clambers and scrambles have uh, almost the same meaning clambers means to climb across or into somewhere with difficulty using the hands and uh, feet at the same time scramble means to move or climb quickly but with difficulty often using our hands to help us so the child climbing up a steep ground he moves with a difficulty this was the another sight the poet sees through the window while the train moving forward now next two lines all by himself and gathering brambles children the poet explains here that the child moves with a difficulty or climbing up steep grounds and what he is doing gathering brambles gathering children brambles means it is a wild bush with the thorns and it produce blackberries okay the poet here explains that the child himself gathering brambles that means no one is there to help the child he himself gathering brambles gathering means to collect so what the child doing plucking and uh, collecting brambles okay <clears throat> now next two lines here is a tram who stands and gazes children the next sight the poet sees through the window is a tram children tram means a person with a no home job or money who travels around and ask for money from other people or in one word we can say a tramp means a wanderer children what the tramp doing he stands and uh, gazes at the train children gazes means look something steadily especially in admiration or surprise so the wanderer wanderer means the tramp the wanderer looking at the train in amazement now next two lines and there is the green for stringing the daisies now children while the train moving with a great speed the another sight the poet sees is daisies and also he saw some ladies making garlands of daisies on a green patch of village land children daisy means it is a small flower with white petals and a yellow center which often grows in grass the children also use it to make a chains okay now let us see rhyming words of the of third stanza scrambles and brambles rhyming with each other gazes and daisies also rhyming with each other so rhyming words are scrambles brambles gazes daisies rhyming words you have to write in your cw book okay now let us discuss some textual questions first one write the sites mentioned in the third stanza <coughs> answer the sites mentioned in the third stanza are a child gathering brambles a tram and the green grasses this answer you have to write in your workbook workbook page number 38 fourth question okay now next question list the lines sentences or phrases that begins with here or and there of third stanza 
answer lines sentences or phrases beginning with the here or there are first one here is a child here is a tramp and there is the green this answer you have to write in your cw book okay now third question with the help of a dictionary find the meaning of the following words and match the correct pair this you have to do in your workbook workbook page number 40 okay all words meaning already i explained if you have any doubt listen the previous video or use a dictionary to solve this okay children i hope you understood third stanza well complete your assignments the remaining part we will study in the next class okay